We're going to get the latest now on Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker. Juju Chang interviewed a second woman who accused him of pressuring her to have an abortion. The accuser, who's now choosing to show her face and respond to Walker's denial of her claims. Good morning, Juju. Good morning, George. Well, as you know, two women have now come forward to say that Herschel Walker, the staunchly anti-abortion Senate candidate, pressured them into having abortions. When he called the allegations lies, the second accuser says that's when she decided to sit down with us and share her story. I've kept this to myself for 30 years. I protected him. And I wanted this to remain private. For and obvious reasons. Last week, a second woman, her face and name withheld, accused Republican Senate candidate and former football star Herschel Walker of pressuring her to get an abortion. Walker denouncing her claims as foolishness and lies. I've said that's a lie and I've moved on and they want me to play these guessing yep. games and all this, but I'm not. I'm not into that. I'm into winning this great seat, fight for the great people of Georgia because that's what this is about. Now Jane Doe responds. At her request, we agreed not to use her name, calling her Jane Doe instead. But she says she now wants to show her face. And so what makes you want to speak about it now? When I saw the first woman come forward a few weeks ago, he immediately called her a liar and said, I never sign anything with the letter H. And I knew I had many cards from him where he signed the letter H. And so I believed then that she was telling the truth. Jane Doe showed us some cards and letters she says she received from Herschel Walker, some signed with a flourish, that H. She says she took this photo of Walker asleep. They had met, she says, in the late 80s when he was married to his first wife and, she says, had an affair that lasted six years. We saw each other several times a week, usually in the mornings, um, and we saw each other before games, home games, away games, that kind of thing. Jane Doe shared hotel receipts from that era and a voicemail she says is from Walker after he went to the Olympic Games in 1992. He often told me in writing and every time we had a conversation how much he loved me and how much I meant to him and that I was who he wanted to be with. Jane Doe says despite being on birth control, she got pregnant in 1993. Walker, she says, pressured her to get the abortion. He was very clear that he did not want me to have the child. And he said that, he said that because of his wife's family and powerful people around him, that I would not be safe and that the child would not be safe. That's very menacing. It is very menacing. It is very menacing. And I felt threatened and I, I thought I had no choice. She says at first she went to an abortion clinic but couldn't go through with it. But Walker, she says, talked her into going back with him. He came to my house and picked me up and drove me to the clinic and I went in alone and he waited in the car while I went in and had the procedure. She says Walker gave her cash to pay for the abortion and has no records or receipts of the payment or the procedure. She says after the abortion, everything changed. Everything shifted. He distanced himself from me almost immediately. Jane Doe says she left her life in Dallas within days and never moved back. Over the years, she says Walker reached out occasionally. I told my parents that I had miscarriage because I couldn't tell them the truth. Uh, uh, yeah, and, um, and I told a few friends the same thing because I couldn't tell them the truth. Why in your mind did you feel like you couldn't tell them the truth? It just was very shameful. And 
I felt like I had been manipulated. We spoke to two women identified to us as friends of the accuser by her lawyer, Gloria Allred. They each told us Jane Doe confided in them in the 90s that she got pregnant during a years-long affair with Walker. One woman saying she took this photo of Jane Doe and Walker meeting at a conference in 2019, years after their alleged affair. Her friend describing how she says they greeted each other. He embraced her, and that embrace, it was very emotional. Um, it, it lasted longer than a normal embrace. It was like they'd known each other for, for years and years and years, which I, I'd known they had. But Jane Doe says her feelings changed after she saw Walker deny that he'd ever paid for an abortion. That, says her lawyer, is when she decided to come forward. Herschel Walker look the American people in the eye after she spoke out last week and said it was a lie. Both women were liars. And she's now looking the American people in the eye and she's telling her truth. And what makes you think he's not fit to be a U.S. Senator? I think, I think honesty matters. Now, it's worth noting that Jane Doe is a registered independent, and she told us that she voted for Donald Trump twice. She says she's not motivated by politics, but why, what she says matters more, the truth. Now, Herschel Walker's campaign told ABC News to refer to that previous statement in which he said, it's a lie, I've moved on. They want me to play these guessing games, but I'm not into that. I'm into winning. Guys? All right, Juju. That was something. Thank you, Juju. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.